Hey crew, I want to give you a quick uh, tip on uh, how to uh, kind of fight off the top wrist lock from the top saddle or the crossbody position with, with a skull block. We've shown this a few times in seminars. Uh, it's, it's, it's a slick move, and it works really nicely for straight submission grab, and you can see there's a problem in, in uh, straight MMA. Not necessarily because you know if they're going to strike you from this position, they'd have to let go of the top wrist lock to, you know, to hit you. So that essentially that acts as a, um, an escape in and of itself. But it's still, it can't be slick for that most slick for just do straight submission grappling. But first let me show you solo what we're talking about on the skull block here. So basically all we're doing, let's say this is the arm that's in jeopardy uh, when I'm laying flat on my back. I'm taking the free arm, the non-attacked arm. I'm reaching across my face, not over my head. I'm reaching across my face and I'm looking for whatever grip I can get. Usually you're going to find that's going to be probably a finger hook grip. So if this one's being attacked, I reach across the face, get my finger hook grip. Once I have that finger hook grip, I'm going to pull up on my arm because we know it's trying to be taken in jeopardy by violating the anatomy by going down and pull up on my arm and get this non-attacked arm stack that on top of my skull. Not stacking it on my forehead slightly above on this dome of my head and sliding off here. It's all the way on top of my skull. We'll see how this works in just a moment. Uh, Kyle, let me bring you in here for just a moment please. Go ahead and lay here down on the mat. Get your head right about here, that's good. I'm just gonna go from a cross body position, get our arms up, and I'm not, even, not doing any major setup. Let's go ahead and set that into a top wrist lock position. Don't worry about my grip or anything right now. So again, what I was talking about, slow-mo. I want you to go slow-mo, don't burst this. Reach across the face, get that finger hook grip, same time turning towards it. You're gonna have to get the body turned into it to some degree, and then pull it up and get that arm stacked on top of the head. Now the reason we're stacking on top of the head here is because if she stacks on top of the face, go ahead and put that on top of your face. Just try and hold out your grip right here. Uh, tap and win if you have to, or you can just say tap. Boom, there it is. Okay, now re-grip, put that on top of your head, skull block. So now we've got this cranium stacked up on the cervical vertebra all the way down to the spinal column. And even here with this weight advantage right now, pulling and pulling. Not happy, not comfortable for her, but I'm still able, not able to finish this off because I'm having to pull and try and compress this entire spine. I'm just not going to be able to make that happen. I have to drop like a wily e. Coyote anvil off a cliff to make that sort of thing happen. At this point, we know usually with the top wrist lock, we're going to run right off to a hip post bridge before we even get this far into jeopardy. That's not what we're covering today. But if your hip post bridge you work out or you're too near a cage, weight differential is too much, you can run off to the skull block, then run back into, uh, until you get, uh, they loosen the grip a little bit, run right back into that hip post bridge. But one more time, we set up that top wrist lock real slow while she goes across the face and turns to the lock at the same time. Go back again, just reach across and do bad take. You reach across, but stay flat back. She's not gonna reach this. I'm gonna have that shoulder ripped up before you know it. So she's reaching and turn, reach and turn to it, turns to the submission, stacks it on the head, all the way to the top, and I can't pull this thing apart. Okay, release, and okay, I'm gonna go uh, on my go, just burst right into it. You ready? Go! Pop, and pull it on top of the head. Good to go, release. Okay, it's gonna be on my go. I'm gonna try and rip that top wrist lock and you're gonna try and defend it. Are you ready? Now I'm gonna be one second behind it, but a little bit lag behind because I'm in advantage here already. Go! That's it, perfect, perfect. Get yourself out here, well done. Uh, so we see what we're talking about here. We wanna hit post bridge first and foremost. But feeling that skull block is kind of a nice little tricky thing to have as a stalemate in there. Don't think you want to run to it all the time to be uh, baiting top wrist locks. God forbid, don't do that. And uh, uh, we've been throwing top wrist locks. We had them out of the curriculum there for a while. We've been throwing them right back in with the Combination Man program. And we got some really interesting ways to set them up. We got what we're using called a constrictor setup. That's going to be coming out fairly soon on Raw 138, I want to say. Also, we'll be doing it this week at a seminar, Martial Arts Carolina and, and Charlotte, uh, this uh, coming Saturday. Going to have a lot of fun uh, with the crew out there. The next day, if you guys are crazy enough, we'll be running that Spartan Sprint out there. We're understanding right on some pig farm somewhere. It's supposed to be rainy. The highs are going to be the 50s. We're running in the morning. We're supposed to have around 38 degrees. So if you guys come out to the seminar, jump out with us on the, on the Spartan. Fail on that. If you can't make those things, work on that top wrist lock and the skull block, guys. Have fun.